everyone in this video i'm going to talk about seven things i'm trying to let go this year before i plan anything or before i make any resolutions for the new year i thought it's extremely important to find out the things that are stopping me that are holding me back let go of those things first before i make any plans and resolutions so the first thing i want to let go is perfectionism whenever you want to start something when you want to take a leap towards your goals and your passions all i can think about is i'm not perfect maybe this is not the perfect time for me to be doing this and all this years i have done that and i always ended up giving up on something that i love or not starting something at all because i thought all of this and let us face it no one in this world is perfect so why am i an exception why am i thinking along these lines so all i'm aiming for from now on is tiny steps towards my goals not perfectionism but progress because small changes ultimately can end up in great and amazing results even if we cannot see the results immediately on the journey it is definitely going to end up in something great so all i'm going to focus on is progress and because that is all that matters and sometimes it can feel that if we don't have control over everything that is happening to us in our life we are not doing the right thing or we might even feel that we are lost or stuck in our life it is normal to feel this way but sometimes this becomes the biggest challenge and the biggest hurdle in us enjoying the life that we already have when i try to control everything i always end up being stressed being anxious being worried and the fact is that we are not in control of everything something unexpected can come up even if you try to control everything even if you try to make sure everything is perfect so i am going to let go of this need to control everything this year and rely only upon those things which are in my control keeping a track on those things which i can control for example if someone is trying to be rude to me when i'm traveling on a bus without any fault of mine i cannot control how the other person is behaving or how they are treating me or what they are talking but all i can control is how i'm responding to that i can choose either of these two things either i can choose to keep my peace intact and concentrate on things that are important to me or i can just spoil my mood over somebody i don't even know and sometimes we get caught up in the need for validation and approval from someone and we and by doing this we end up in uh, doing the things that we don't enjoy and that are not meant for us really just to look good in the books of others and this is something i want to let go this year because whatever external validation you're getting whatever approval that you're getting from other people that can make you satisfied and happy only in that moment but this happiness or this satisfaction will not last long and when you look inwards whenever you need that validation reviewing whether you're doing something just because you want to look good for someone or you want to look good in other people's books or is it something you love personally i love personally or, or and i value the most this can always give me an idea of why i'm doing something and when i do something for my own happiness and my own values it can give me more happiness than when i do it for somebody else when you start knowing yourself bit better you become confident with all the choices that you're making and you don't need validation and approval with every choice that you make and if you really need that validation if you really can't do by yourself you can get it from people that actually care for you and who actually love you and who are your well wishers and not from everyone around you depending upon other people for my happiness when you rely on other people too much expecting too much from other people it is natural that we get disappointed if they don't show up at the time they said they would be here or if they have cancelled plans in the last minute that is so disappointing and when something like this happens am i being able to uh, just let that go and enjoy that time by myself or am i completely dependent on the other person to make me happy if i'm getting angry and frustrated and and uh, being unhappy with that time that i have right now 
then i'm clearly depending on the other person for my happiness and instead of expecting too much from other people when we learn to work on our own expectations and focus on what makes us happy staying happy even when no one is around that is when we are not giving away our part to someone else because let's be real other people can only contribute to our happiness but they cannot be the sole reason for our happiness if that is the case it can also be exhausting for the other person to fill uh, to fulfill everything that we expect from them in order for us to be happy sometimes even foregoing their own happiness and you when you take the responsibility for your own happiness you're also reducing the burden that you're putting on someone else to please you every time and every minute of the day so i'm giving up this need to depend on others to make me happy and i'm going to search within me what i can do to make myself happy even when others cannot fulfill their promises or even when they change plans last minute letting my work define who i am we often confuse our identity with the job that we do we think that that is what we are but what are you outside of your work that is who you really are because sometimes we are stuck in jobs that we don't even love and we just do them to pay the bills so how can you let that job define who you are reducing yourself to any single characteristic whether it be your title or your job performance is a deeply damaging act by doing this we are objectifying ourselves we are tying our self worth to this job or to the to our economic condition to our economic position our physical appearance our com- our self worth is completely dependent upon all these things but we are not just one characteristic we are both a mom who is managing the home and working in par with other top professionals in your workplace or you are also a good friend a good person a good singer even if that's only in the bathroom a person who's making people laugh you are much more than your job and only when we can detach our identity from what we do we can explore all the other possibilities that we have what are we capable of outside our job so i'm letting go of this need to be identified only through what i do because you are not your career alone and putting everyone else above me this is one thing i tried and changed over the years this can be because some people are um very good with giving and some people are very good with taking and givers don't know how to take and takers don't know how to give but the perfect balance or the perfect happiness and ideal people are those who are neutral who can just balance the act of both giving and taking and only then life will be happier for us so giving is good but the problem with being a giver is you forget yourself your own needs and you keep putting other people first always and always think about what they want what they need and what will make them comfortable forgetting completely about yourself in all this process and sometimes it can be tricky because when others are recognizing this behavior in you this trait in you they can exploit this nature of yours even without you realizing that they're doing it so i choose to put myself above everyone else and i want to find that perfect balance between giving and taking and i want to be neutral and happy from this year and i want to stop waiting for life to happen i realized over the past few years and with increasing awareness about myself i am not a proactive person in living life i stick to my comfort zone and i stay there not exploring the possibilities not exploring new things that i could discover and experience clearly life is not going to come and find me in my comfort zone So this year I am letting go of this expectation and this foolishness that life is going to come to me in my comfort zone. We only live once and I want to make the best out of this life and the next year. So I want to cherish every moment, experience things and see new places because time and tide wait for no one, not even for me. So I decided to let go of all these things this year. hoping that it will help me to evolve into the person that i'm supposed to be to find my real purpose so 
what is something which you think you need to let go of this year let me know in the comments below i would love to know and i'll see you in this video right here until then you take care